Hello. So today we're going to be talking about the story how I got my pony s'mores. And here's s'mores right here. You could pet her and stuff. And her ears move. So, this is how I got her. So, two years ago, I wanted Butterscotch Pony, but, um, since it was discontinued and it still is they were charging really high prices on ebay and amazon you couldn't find it like reasonable whatsoever so um yeah the unreasonableness i couldn't get it because it, that was like way too expensive and then like, yeah, they were like 700, 800, even someone was charging 1,000 for it. I could easily get a real adoptable horse with that much money. Or like at least a really nice one or something. Um, oh, well, I'm not going to dressage one, not $16,000, jeez. So, then two years later, just, which this was yesterday, just me and my dad walking into a thrifty store just to pass time really quick, because I'm like, my mom was about to get out of work, so we were just, like, waiting for her, to. And then I just walk in, and then, well, first then, before I walk in, I was talking to my dad, and I was saying, we always find something here, don't we, so we might get something, I don't know. Because, like, we always do, right? Like, like 90 98% of the time. And then I walk, and to my right, there is a s'mores pony, and I just run to it, pet it, just check if like the fur is okay you see if it's in good condition check the hooves check the mouth to make sure the rubber isn't ripped out and then like I walk around the rest of the store like just looking through books and stuff and then I run right back to s'mores and I'm thinking since it is interactive yeah I guess you do have to turn it on I didn't really think of that earlier so I flip the switch that's on the bottom. Now everyone's like, oh, how do you do that? And just like, mm, there's just a switch on the bottom. Just seeing if it worked. So then I just like pet it, make sure it worked, put my hands in its mouth, which kids don't ever do that with a real horse. You are going to get your fingers bitten off. It's fine if you do it with toy ones, though. But I wouldn't advise that either. I'm a bad example. Oh, no. Report me. Mm. So then, um, we're about to go, so I flip the switch off just to make sure it, the batteries still will be there. And then we go to pick up my mom, and then we tell her literally all about it, and I ask her if we can get it. It was $50, so compared to 800 and like 200 that is a pretty good price, and it is in really good condition. So she was like, yeah, yeah, we can get it. So then we drive right there, as fast as possible, still abiding speed laws, and defying not nothing. We go back, and I run right to the right again, and then right after that, and then, and then, and then, I just sit on it to make sure no one's ever going to buy it. And then my dad asks for a sticker, so I give that to him, and then the payment goes over to them, and then I just pick up the pony, literally, like, eh. I pick it up just like this, going out of the store. <laughs> My eyes are gonna break for that. And then I'm running to my car, holding a horse that big, just like that, going da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. I don't know what I was thinking, but that was pretty cool. So then, um, yeah, the entire way home and stuff, we we're gonna go for a walk first and then go home. So then pretty much the entire time going back and going to a park, 
there were people looking at us weird, and one kid was saying, Look, Mom, there's a horse in their car. And I th I'm hoping he didn't think it was a real horse. What's he going to think when he's older? I don't know. So, there are people looking at us weird. These two trucker guys being just looking like, Oh, whoa, whoa. um, hey, Bob, look at this. I want you to look at that. Look at that horse. They got a horse in the car. And then there's this, like, girl that's probably, she seemed like she might be 14. She was showing her mom it and stuff. Like, there are so many people looking at us weird because we had this horse in the car. <laughs> yeah, pretty hip and cool. So then I go home and then just, like, test it. Everything does work except for, uh... The neck flops a little bit to this side. I'm just going to be careful. I think it might be because like some kids that don't even know how to take care of things their parents buy them. They like do this a lot with the neck. I'm just going to be very really careful with it. But they like pull it back all the way and then they do that again. Trust me, there's videos of kids that can't even take care of their toys doing that. And then the tail doesn't swish but I know there's like a video on YouTube somewhere for the vinyl tubing and the only thing wrong with this the neck I think is that it just it's a screw that might have to be tightened so for $50 that was actually pretty cool so I grimmed it and um, today or something I'm going to like disinfect it just to make sure it's clean with like some spray that would be like color safe and safe for the fabric and won't like ruin any of the electronic stuff just to make sure it's clean because I thought it was pretty cool I want to get it but I just want to make sure it's extra clean and doesn't have any germs and stuff so yeah hopefully those can be fixed pretty easily and I'll do some more videos of s'mores. I'm going to rename her, though. I don't know. She might even be a stallion or something. Mm -mm. So I'm probably going to, like, just rename her, but I'm going to think about for, like, entire week because I'm bad at naming things. And I want to think of something nice so I'm not changing names all the time. So, yeah, I'll do some videos with s'mores in the near future. I'll even do a video I have one of when I actually saw s'mores. It's like a 15 second video when I like saw her and walking around it stuff. So I'll put I'll upload that right after this. So I hope you like this video with s'mores and the whole story. Goodbye.